Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for this video. Sorry it's taking so long to get out for those of you who have been following the series. Uh, this is where I remove uh, different sway bars and show you a couple different things with my Razer 570. There we go, that, that platform I just put down is about six inches tall, which is not super impressive, but it is something. I do have all the sway bars attached on here just to show that this is uh, what it looks like when it's stock. Um, I do have my 27 inch tires on there and the two inch lift. You can see how tipsy it is. Um, experience this on the trail, it definitely makes you feel like you might topple over several times. Uh, and it, it, uh, it definitely can get a little sketchy, especially with the two inch lift making it a little bit more top heavy. Right here I'm gonna slap a level on just for reference. This uh, part of it was just to show you that, hey, this is how off kilter it is or off, off center it is. It actually is very much at the top of that bubble. I wish I would have picked it up to show you really where level was on this, uh, but it is quite a bit off level. So now I have already spared you guys the time to do, take the remove the sway bar. Pretty self-explanatory, you can look it up somewhere else. But you can see right away, I didn't, when I was driving up, I actually I couldn't tell if I was even on the ramp because of how well the, the suspension was working. Uh, there you go. You can see the difference almost immediately with uh, the sway bar, the front sway bar removed, uh, which is where I started out. And I had to double check to make sure I was even up there because I, I wasn't sure. Um, and you can see it's clearly a huge difference with, uh, with how the suspension is articulating. Um, again, there's lots of videos on YouTube uh, that can show this. Um, here I'm about to, I'll slap on the level here so you can see exactly how uh, centered it really is on that. And I do a couple little uh, rock backs and forth just to show you how, how much more stable it is. It's a lot more difficult to lift that front tire off the ground. The back one's still nice and planted. Uh, we ended up taking this to uh, Central Utah and trying it out. We went down to San Rafael Swell. Again, there's that shot of where that bubble is, uh, almost dead center. And you know it, that tire is up almost six inches. So not the full range of the um, suspension, it's got about nine in the front, nine and a half in the rear. Uh, but this is, we are down at San Rafael Swell, down in Southern Utah. And you can just see that articulation uh, of it going over those uh, rocks pretty easily. We went over this a couple, like, earlier before, so I had a different line, but you can just see how much flex I'm getting in the front. Right there. I'm gonna play it back a, a couple times here to show you right there where the rear tire hit that, the rear left tire hit that rock. You can kind of see it push me up off, off my rocker a little bit. Now, when we were driving around down in Southern Utah, it was definitely, it was a night and day difference with that sway bar removed. The ride quality was so much better, but like it would hit the bump in the front, you'd kind of feel it, then all of a sudden the back would hit and you'd feel the whole kind of machine go back and forth and you feel like a little bit more jolting. It was significantly better than it is with the sway bar on, but you can definitely tell it wasn't ideal. We did end up removing the front and rear sway bar later, and you can see this is with both of them removed. I just put it with a front right tire up on that box again, and you can tell it is definitely still tilted. It's not nearly as bad as it was. You can see how rocky back and forth it is. It definitely, it, it takes some getting used to driving this with uh, the sway bars removed. We did adjust the preload all the way up. You can tell it's not quite as high, quite as bad as it was, but it definitely was up there. Um, this is where we, uh, I decided to put two boxes under the rear left and the front right, just to show you how the suspension can articulate with um, both sway bars removed. And this is what makes a huge difference on the trail, massive difference on the trail. You can see how stable it is. Um, it allowed us to go over all things without being jolted or thrown around. High speeds can get a little crazy, um, but for the most part, it actually makes a ginormous difference for us. You know, again, you can just see these shots of the, of the suspension totally articulated. Um, this has made a huge difference for riding with my wife and I and our little girl. Um, you know, we don't do high speed trails. We're not cruising on the thing at 50 miles an hour, but we definitely are having a blast out there. We, in all reality, this has made a night and day difference. The two inch lift kit, everything has just made a huge difference. And removing these sway bars, we wouldn't go back. Again, 
definitely crank up the preload if you're doing this all the way up because it without it it is very tippy we went on a trail ride the other day up here uh in the mountains and i just these shots we, we the, the camera never does justice to how kind of a precarious situation we were actually in the trail got much worse up ahead so we're trying to turn around and you can just see where yeah i did i pushed the limits of where the flex could go on the suspension but i want you to really pay attention that there's a lot of moments here that it was really nice to have that independent true suspension that allowed us to be able to crawl over these without high centering or without losing grip uh you know, all, all that said too, those Amazon tires, man, they, they did great. I have no complaints with them. We've had about three months on them and very minimal wear that I can tell so far. We drive them around town as well as on um, different trails, dirt trails, mud trails. So we've been on sand. It's, it's been great. Um, you know, for a little 570, this, this machine does an amazing job. And again, just pay attention to these little articulations, right? With, I had the sway bar on there, either it would be really, really rocky and suspended in the air, it wouldn't it wouldn't feel quite as planted. Never at any point when I was doing this, unless until I really, really pushed it, did I feel like I was out of control or that the machine couldn't easily crawl over this. Um, I was in low gear some of this, four wheel and some of it. I, I can't remember with this video. Um, my, my wife was filming, so sorry for the vertical video. But you can just tell that we were getting into this, and now we were turning around trying to, to straddle the river. That's right where I hit that limit of uh, the suspension. But yet again, I, I was just waiting for that back left tire to hit, and it brought me right back down. I'm pretty much max articulation there. Put me down in the little ditch. I ended up crawling out of it. And this is just a good shot to show you my suspension setup with the new 12 inch ground clearance I have. A little bit more suspension articulation there. Went through this, you know, it's probably six inches at its deepest, uh, if that um, little puddle. And we went through and it just it handled everything like a champ which handled everything we've thrown at it we could not be happier thanks again for watching guys this has uh, been my little razor 570 videos and hope you guys have a great day think about subscribing thanks guys bye